Good morning, everyone, and a happy Sabbath to you. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Saturday, January 6, 2024. I pray that as we go throughout the day, that we will experience the goodness of God and that we will bask in His wonderful presence. Our reading today comes to us from James chapter 1, reading verses 2 to 6. And it says, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptation. 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patient. But let patient have a perfect work, that he may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally, and upbraid it not, and it shall be given him. Verse 6 and last, it says, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with every wind and tossed. And I say, Amen. We thank God this morning again for his word. And I pray that we will be encouraged. I pray that we will be blessed. And so this morning, the Word of God encourages that we should be happy. I know that's a strange thing to say. Be happy when you go through your trials, when you go through your temptations. Be happy. Huh, that's a strange thing to say. But we understand why it says that, right? It says that because it is a way of helping us to become stronger you think about a goal going through going into the fire it goes into the fire with all the dirt and whatever elements that is not a part of the goal in it and when it goes into the fire the fire burns all the elements that is not goal and melt it away and when you pull back that goal out it is very clean because what all the dirt and all the rust and whatever it is that was mixed with the gold has been purified out and in the same way with us when we go through our trials when we go through our temptation it is all to remove the dross to remove all of the rust to remove all of the 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 unsmooth unsm edges from us so that we can be made perfect in Christ and that is why the Word of God says that we are to be happy because it is going to work for our good and not our destruction as some would have you believe it goes on to give some examples that what the trying of our faith it worketh patient when you can go through a situation and you you are resilient and you are steadfast it can build your faith so we always ask for faith this is the perfect way to build your faith by going through the fire and remaining steadfast and unshaken when you come through that faith that you have been praying for so long you will now realize that you are much more stronger in the Lord because of that experience so never give up never give up because you might just be giving up in the midst of your breakthrough. Amen? And it says that what? We will want nothing. Amen? We will want nothing. Right? And the Bible says that what? If we lack wisdom, we should ask God, who will give it to us liberally. Do you remember the situation with Solomon? What did Solomon ask for? He said, the Lord said, you ask for anything and I'll give it to you. And he said, Lord, give me wisdom. Wisdom so that I can lead your people. 
in the right way. And that is what we should ask for. Wisdom so that we can make better decisions, so that we can do what is right and pleasing in the sight of God. Wisdom so that we can be faithful when our back is against the wall. And may we get that wisdom as we ask of it. And he says that we are to ask in faith. So you need to receive it by faith. Not wavering, not doubting. So when you ask of something from God, from God don't doubt. Because doubt interrupts the process. And if you doubt, then you can't expect the Lord to give it to you still. Because what? You have no faith. You don't believe that God can grant you what you have asked for. And so, let us remain steadfast in faith, claiming the promises even when they are far off, even if we die without, claim, without seeing the fulfillment of that promise. Never lose faith. Never lose faith and never lose hope. But keep remaining steadfast in God and God will bless you and God will keep you. So enjoy the rest of the Sabbath and may he pour out his spirit upon you and your family today. In Jesus' name, amen.